Hey, good morning, and thanks for coming back to the channel for other car review. Um, first off, I want to say thank you to everybody who has uh, liked and subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it a lot, and um, please continue to support us and help us grow. So let's get into the new video. Oh, before I go any further, this video is somewhat the same as the previous video, but different. Um, anyway, let's go. All right, so this morning, we're here with Leon and Jalea. This is actually G Jalea's car, and she's gonna let us know a little bit about it, and then we're gonna get some specs from Dad, who is also the, the family mechanic. So, let's go. Jalea, um, tell me about the car, or tell me about your car. It's old, and it has a window that you can wind up, Oh, you like the wind-up windows? Yeah. Uh, what year car is it? It's a 1977. 1977 Toyota Corolla, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's see if we could get some specs on the car from your dad. And um, let's go over to Leon. Leon, what are you going, Bridget? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so, Jalea, the owner of the vehicle, um, just mentioned she have a 1977 Toyota Corolla. Uh, tell me what's going on with it. What's the specs on it? Well, it has a two-liter 3T built by Columbia. Oh, wicked, wicked. Uh, it has a 411 rear Celica Supra, which was built by Weir Performance. Oh, the, the internals? Yes. All right. Axles, um, competition clutch, uh, revolution wheels that I had to order special from England. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a pair, of those, a set of those, boy. It's this nice classic wheel. Always look good. Let me get a close up on those. All right, all right. Uh, Japanese bumpers sourced from Roots Motorsports. Wicked, every time. <laughs> I had them maybe eight years now, we found them. When I couldn't find them, we found them. So, and he actually found the place to re them after they were. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I messed up a little bit and he sent me somewhere to get them redone. So, it came out pretty good. All right, all right. How long you own the car? Jalea, how long have you owned the car? Um, basically my whole life. Oh, so your dad has had it for a while and he passed it on to you. That's really nice. They, it's not often you see a, <clears throat> a young person liking these vintage cars. All right, I'm going to just do a quick walk around and um, take a look at the car here. Wow, wow. It's really, really nice. Let me take a view of the interior here. Old school tack. Interior is <clears throat> excuse me, mainly stock. Original um, material on the seat, vinyl wrapped. The car is very clean, very, very clean. Paint job looking good, very reflective. Um, if mine open up the, the, the bonnet, we'll take a look at the engine. Hey, you said Columbia Billet, right? Yes. Boy, long time I don't hear that name. Long time I don't hear that name. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so it's a 3TC 2 liter. So that means what? It's um, bore, stroke. 89 millimeter pistons. What kind of cam, Julia? Isky cam. Oh, nice, nice. Doctorly headers. Ford and Polish head by Columbia. Mm -hmm. And uh, the camera is redegreed by Richie Henuino. Oh, okay, okay. And um, who, who tuned the, the carburetor as well? Richie Henuino. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and these are Weber, what size Webers? 45. All right, all right. The rest, it just runs and runs and runs. Just well, that, that's um, a treaty for you. A vintage motor, but very strong, still very popular motor. Um, Still can't get a lot of aftermarket parts for it. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. The car, was, the car was originally put together by Kiko Engineering for a police officer in the city of Miami. Okay, I think I remember this car and I had a run-in with it one time back in the day. And um, it surprised me, caught me off guard. So this, this car run pretty good, really good, really good. So what are some of the things you like about it, Julia? Uh, does the, you like the sound of the engine? 
really loud uh -huh. and old. <laughs> and the windows. Oh, you you just on that, huh? You like the fact that it's still, um, I guess, analog. That's cool. So, um, when are you gonna start driving? Probably when I'm 18. Huh? When you're 18? All right. Well, you could probably start driving. Don't let Dad know you're taking the car out, though. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Back over to Dad to get some specs on it. Um. What suspension on the car now? It's stock suspension in the front, just lower springs. Okay, okay. No big brakes yet, no no, no plans to yet, unless... Unless it's necessary. Unless it shows up. And All right. Where we go, we go, you know, we're too old for street racing, <laughs> so we go to car shows and hang out with the guys and just... And that's it. it. So no, no plans to upgrade anything yet. It runs good, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, I understand that, I understand that. How, how satisfied are you with the weird performance, um, differential so far? Night and day. I've had the car for almost 10 years, and then last year we blew the rear end going to Naples to a car show and back, and after that, now I could drive it further because no noise, no no jumping, no hopping. It's, it's it's expensive, but it's worth the money. It's worth the money, and that's that's one thing. It may be expensive, but it keep the car reliable, keep you enjoying it. Yeah. And keep Julia enjoying it and, and keeping this hobby going because we don't see a lot of young people interested in, in old school cars. So this is great and plus it's a father and daughter father and daughter um project. So you have a good thing going on here, man. Good thing going on. So all right, let's um move around to the back here. You said the weird performance differential and it's um it's a Celica differential? Yes, Celica Supra, yes. Okay, okay. A nice setup. I don't think you're breaking that anytime soon. No. But then again, a full, two liter. Full limited slip. Uh, oh, limited slip. Yeah. Full two liter though. I know that motor is quite torquey. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, you can crank it up. Let's hear what the big two liter sound like. Yeah. 